This video was highly requested about a comparison of perfect game and PBR and just the ones that you should choose when wanting to go to a showcase and even if it's right for you. Right off the bat, we're going to be comparing the exposure, price, competition, development that you can have and the results that each organization might bring to you or your son. To be frank, there's a lot of the scams out there that you should be aware of before even going into this. Now, all the information that we're going to cover will be on our website at university.baseballplayground.com. So you can go check out everything there, link in the description. And I don't want you to follow us. Instead, what I want you to do is go into the comment section and tell us which showcases you have been to and whether or not you even got any results out of them. Cause I'm, I'm literally, I'm super curious to see if you've had any results off of those. All right, so topic one is gonna be perfect game. Now we have to go back way in time, not really, only back to 1995 to where we meet this guy. Now this is Jerry Ford. He is the founder of Perfect Game and he has pretty much grown the largest independent baseball recruiting, scouting, you name it. Perfect Game kind of does everything throughout the United States. Perfect Game is known for hosting high quality showcases that attract elite talent. And I seriously, I mean elite talent. That's why you see Perfect Game everywhere. And I'm sure you've all heard of Perfect Game. Now they have a strong reputation throughout the baseball community that surrounds elite baseball. And, and that's why they are so attractive to a lot of family. And over the years, thousands of players have gone and participated in these showcases and events that Perfect Game hosts. And they run you through an entire stat sheet, running you through the development process and trying to get you into college. Now here's one thing that you do have to know is that Perfect Game is kind of the top tier of showcases. Those are the most expensive. They're the most that get you exposure or quote unquote exposure, which we're gonna go over, but they're also the highest competitive atmosphere that you're gonna be at. Now we're gonna get into the actual things that Perfect Game offers you. So starting off, they have national showcases. Typically you are not going to be able to go to these. I'm just saying this because all these national showcases are invite only. Now you have to be the top ranked in Perfect Game and usually those are pay to play invites you also have to have the most exposure already given to you most of those guys who go to the national showcases already have commit and those commits whether they're verbal or signed are only giving perfect game more exposure they're allowing these kids to get more playing time and they're allowing these kids to get seen by major league organizations not college organizations next moving on to regional showcases this is gonna be a little bit more of your style um, that you'll be able to go to. Now, Perfect Game does host regional events that are tailored specifically for geographical locations. So they'll host like the West tournaments or anything on the East. And they also do have the Midwest stuff and the middle and all that fun organizational stuff. But for the most part, they're gonna be running events on the East and the West Coast. And the reason for that is because of the population density. That's what gets them as a brand the most exposure and it also brings more people out to their events. However, the regional showcases are a great way for colleges and schools to plan out their roadmap of where they want to go in order to scout kids. So if you do plan on going to a regional showcase, make sure that those coaches are going to be at the event that you want there. Now here's one of the coolest parts about Perfect Game is that they offer specialty showcases or clinics or in camps. Now these specialty showcases, ooh, that's a mouthful. These specialty showcases are all gonna be focused on specific skill sets. So they do offer like pre-draft showcases. They offer the 14 U Select Baseball Festival, pitcher and catcher indoor activities, things of that nature that are very specific, niched within baseball. And these showcases and clinics are specifically designed to showcase who you are as a player and your individual talents and skills. Usually these are gonna be pretty expensive to go to because they are more one-on-one -on -one and teaching rather than just, all right, go and take five to 10 ground balls in the infield and get your reps in and we'll radar gun you. They're gonna be a little more expensive. Okay, so what are the pros of perfect game showcases? The first pro that we have on our list is that they're super and highly competitive. 
These are the best athletes in the game. And if you want to compete at the D1 level, then this is where you want to be. You don't want to be playing some, you know, grade C players and then go face grade A players when you're not going to be prepared and you're not going to have the skill sets or the experience to even compete with those grade A players. I will say this, our second note is that Perfect Game does have the highest exposure rating on our list. And the reason for this is that they're just the biggest. The bigger you are, the more exposure you're going to get. Now with that said though, that's their attractive value offer for you. They tell you that they're the biggest, they tell you that they're the baddest, and they tell you that they're gonna get you the most exposure. Well, think about how many kids just like yourself or families just like yourself that are looking at that message and saying, oh, I'm gonna get all of this exposure. But on the other hand, there's a whole bunch of other people who are doing the exact same thing. Now, when you put that into perspective, that exposure becomes very slim. So you have to realize and weigh your pros and cons of, hey, is this even worth my time going to? However, I will say exposure is a great tool and these do allow you to get in front of coaches. The next thing that Perfect Game does really well is their detailed player evaluations. Now, Perfect Game just really prides itself on providing comprehensive player evaluations, which include the scouting reports, their rankings, and they also do video footage. I'm sure you've seen all of those all over their social media accounts and on YouTube as well. Now, all of these evaluations help not only you as a player evaluate your strengths and weaknesses, but it allows the coaching staff that the college who might be wanting you, it allows that coaching staff to see what your strengths and weaknesses are, whether you're even a fit for their program or not. Now, what are the cons for Perfect Game? Perfect Game is really expensive. And I mean like they're really expensive. You can pay upwards of a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars for just one event. And if you can't get sponsored for these events, it becomes very pricey. And like I said, since they're the biggest organization, they can charge the biggest amount of money for it. And mind you, this isn't even counting travel expenses, any accommodations that you might have or gear that you might be needing to replace or bring together on this long trip with you. And for the second con that we have is the limited availability. The reason that Perfect Game has limited availability is because of how popular they are and because of how prestige the Perfect Game showcases and events are. Our third con of Perfect Game is that, yet again, because there are so many top tier talented players at these events, a lot of the times people go overlooked. It's hard to be a big fish in a big pond, but you could also just go with the big fish in a small pond route with some other showcases and events. For example, if there are 15 shortstops that are grade A at this showcase and you're not a grade A, you're gonna get overlooked. You don't want to be the guy who gets their name either crossed off or doesn't even get looked at because a coach is looking at somebody else across the field. There's a lot of action that goes on during the showcases that people don't understand. And there's a lot of commotion too. Coaches and scouts that are in the stands aren't just staring at the field with a blank face like this the entire time looking at players. No, that's not how it works. Instead, what they do is they are conversing with one another as coaches and be like, what do you think about this guy? What do you think about this guy? So they're talking, which means that their eyes might not always be on you, and instead, they might be somewhere else. Now moving into competitor number two, which is PBR, Prep Baseball Report Showcases. Now PBR is actually a fan favorite because they have this really nice balance of popularity, but accessibility. And a little bit background information about PBR is that they were founded in 2005, and it's simply the exact same thing as Perfect Game. Um, yeah, I mean, they can't, I can't really give you more information than that, but the only difference about PBR is that they have a really strong presence and they're in 40 states across the United States with local scouts and writers that go all around the country looking at top tier talent. So they have people actually going out and writing names down, scouring the web, scouring social media, trying to find the next top tier talent that they can help and invite to their showcases and camps. However, that's not gonna happen to you unless you're a top tier athlete, you know, grade A, any of that stuff. So just be aware of that, that they're not gonna go find the small town kid that is doing bare minimum stats. 
One of the other differences of PBR versus Perfect Game is that they are more of a state focused organization. So this means that they focus more on like PBR California, PBR Utah, PBR Iowa, right? They're gonna be more state focused, which allows you to get more exposure within those states. What that means is they put on showcases and tournaments that are for those travel ball organizations in order for those kids to get more exposure within the state rather than having to take flights or drive across the country just to get in front of a coach's eyes. Now here's a little bit of an overview about the things that PBR offers. First and foremost, like I just stated, they have state events. These state events are huge. They're their biggest money maker, but they're also their biggest exposure tool for players. The second event that they offer that's really valuable is their Super 60 Pro Showcase. Now this is an annual event that brings together the top high school seniors from across the country for one day. One day, and that's it. Um, that is in attendance with a lot of the MLB scouts and college coaches. This is great, but I hate to break it to you, you're not gonna get invited or you're not gonna be able to go if you don't qualify if you're not a top tier athlete. So really focus on your development before you try and, and reach for the stars on this one. And just like Perfect Game, they do have national showcases such as their PBR Future Games or their Junior Future Games, which just brings the top recruits from across the country together and throws them all into this awesome game that gets published everywhere and you get your name, boom, 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 media, press, boom, stock value goes up of yourself, all that fun stuff. But like I said, you're not gonna get an invite to one of these unless you're a top tier athlete. And PBR also does offer localized events which are showcases that are held within the states and then within certain conferences of maybe high school baseball or within certain regions of that state. Now, what are the cons of the PBR showcases? Similarly to Perfect Game, it's going to be costly. It's going to be a little bit less than Perfect Game, I will tell you that, but you're still looking in the hundreds to thousands of dollars just to go to one showcase. The second con of PBR is that you will get less exposure than you would Perfect Game. The exposure wise is just based upon who is at that event at that time, right? So if Perfect Game has 30 scouts at this game, but you don't see any result from that one, but you go to a PBR event and there's 20 scouts at that game, but you get 10 coaches looking at you. Well, what's the pros and cons there, right? So you have to look at things based upon the schools that you would want to go to. All right, so now let's get into actually comparing the two. Now that we have this overarching theme of the pros and cons of each organization, well, which one do you choose, right? That's the big question that everybody wants answered. And I hate to tell you, but it varies, right? It completely varies on what you are trying to do as a family and as a player. The first thing you wanna realize is the level of competition, right? If Perfect Game hosts an event that you see there's gonna be 100 players there and half of them are infielders, maybe you don't wanna to go to that event if you're not that good because you're gonna get pushed all the way to the bottom. Rather, what you should do is go to a, maybe a smaller perfect game event or another PBR or another organization by chance that has a lower fee, that has less exposure, but a higher qualified coaching list. And we'll get into this as well, but the higher the qualified coaching list, the better chance you have to be recruited. Now this leads me into my second point of comparison, and this is exposure and networking. Every time you go to a showcase event, don't focus on how you play. Have fun with it, right? You're trying to get exposure, you're trying to have fun out there, you wanna play with some swag, you wanna enjoy the moment. When you are getting the exposure that you want, you must be networking. What does that mean though? Every time you see a coach, go up and shake their hand. This is something that gets overlooked nine times out of 10 when going through the comparison process because you might have a different experience than Johnny or your best friend, right? You might have a total different experience. One of you went to Perfect Game Showcase and the other went to a PBR Showcase. The difference though was the networking and the connections that they made at the event. Usually you're not gonna get offered at a showcase. You're not gonna get any handshakes given to you at a showcase. And you're not gonna get talked to by coaches at showcases. First off, the reason for that is you might not be old enough where they can, but secondly, you need to put yourself in a position 
because they're gonna rem remember your full name rather than just on a piece of paper. A couple other things to note though. Understand your player development. If you're a freshman and you wanna go to a showcase but you're not showcase ready, don't go to a showcase. I'm telling you, please don't go to a showcase because that money that you spend, the time that you spend, the travel you spend can be utilized for development rather than the showcase itself. I cannot tell you which ones you need to go to because there's no one size fits all for your position, for your weight, for the location that you're in and the demographic. So you have to do your own research. This can't be done for you, but we can help you along the way. All right, here's our action steps. These are the things that we recommend that you do right now before you go to a showcase or an event. All right, so number one, we're gonna put a list together of the showcases and events that you wanna go to. Now research them entirely. See which coaches are gonna be there, which scouts are gonna be there, what schools are gonna be there, and maybe even what are the top players that are planning on going there. And this leads us into step two. Realize that you might not be showcase ready. And that's totally fine, totally fine. You don't have to go to a showcase your freshman year, your sophomore year, or even your junior year of high school. You don't have to. The only reason people get scouted is because of their name recognition and people that vouch for them. Now we recommend that everybody get at least one showcase under their belt just to experience it, to see the competition that they're up against and to also help them with exposure. A lot of these showcases will film you for the admission fee or maybe a little bit extra, but you have to look into that. And that film can be utilized all across the board when you're emailing coaches and getting your name out there. And like I said before, if you aren't showcase ready, don't go. I'm serious, don't go. Invest that money into something else. Invest it into your family, invest it into your hitting, invest it into your pitching, into your catching, whatever you're doing. Now we have many resources on the Baseball Playground University where we show you how you can get recruited, develop and have a better mindset. And I don't want you to follow us. Instead, go comment below which showcase and which one you have been to. And I wanna see how many of you have actually got a scholarship or at least a result from going to a showcase because frankly, I'm super curious.